Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome to a Gamer Encounters of a Module War. It's a modular RTS that has your units that are actually your base and your base is your units. It's a weird one and it's something that we listed in the upcoming strategy games list we do here on the channel. And it was looking a little rough before, but the developers sent me a message today and said, would you like to check out the early demo of this? And this preview code was provided. So let's encounter Modular. Okay, so it has to be again said that this is an early, early look at the game, okay? It's not supposed to release until later this year and I think in the early access, but the options are just graphics and it's on fantastic. So we'll see how fantastic those are. And today, there's a couple things I can show off. Now, I'm gonna start with a little bit of the arena mode and then we'll jump into the story. The arena mode is just sort of a... I'm gonna set this to like a minute. Uh, demonstrating how this actually works. How this actually works, right? So let me start this up. And this is this is the the core mechanic of the game, right? You have this base, right? And you can build parts, right? You can build parts. And then you can like add mouths and turrets and a brain. And I don't know what these do, right? We can do this, and then we can have a mouth. And apparently, oh, the brain is tech. The brain is tech. Then we can have like a tentacle and a mortar on the back. And I don't know what an eye does, but we can add more tiles now, right? This this is our base, but it's not just this, right? These bits are our units. Let's add these turrets. Uh, the hotkey is E. Okay, let's do that. Add a bunch of turrets, okay? Now we can actually select individual parts and split them off or reconnect them. Right? These are now, because we lost the core, these are three separate pieces, which we can reconnect into a thing. It's all modular. It's all modular. And then if you alt-click, you can separate individual pieces. It's... it's so strange. It's so strange. Uh, but anyway, let's try kill this thing. Uh, yeah, go... So there's some pathfinding issues, there's some... All sorts of issues, okay? But... Yeah, we got mouths, we got turrets and mortars. Can we actually win this? I'm the best. I'm the best. We win. <laughs> Victory! Ah, uh, so that's... That's the premise of the game, right? That's... That's what the gameplay is. It's building up this creature which splits off, reattaches, and all of that. Uh, so we're gonna jump into single player and the story campaign now, and there's a bit of a cinematic for us to watch. Uh, so we'll enjoy that, and then we'll actually get through some of the story. Now, by the way, there's no audio controls right now. There's no sound volume of separate audio sliders, so audio is going to be a bit rough, but uh, I'll try keep it as loud and quiet as possible at the appropriate times. Anyway, I'll take myself off, and we'll enjoy this intro. Arcadia, an untouched paradise. It is home to millions of species, from microscopic bacteria to great ocean animals. But the most unique, most fantastic beings in Arcadia are the Modu. These magnificent, terrifying creatures can change and enhance their enormous bodies over minutes and adapt to the rigors of land and sea. Evidence shows they were once as large as continents until they split into smaller beings. Arcadia remained isolated and the existence of the Modu remained peaceful until the invaders came. The Chimera. Space horrors the likes of which we could never imagine. 
and the desperate ERE, the Earth Repatriation Expedition. Scouting the stars for a new home, both forces came to fight. Finish a war started in a galaxy far away. The historians of tomorrow might see this as atrocious. They might think we are war criminals. But the only way humanity could hope to survive is by weaponizing these magnificent creatures. Perhaps one day they will forgive us. For now, we must survive. Oh, there we go. That's that's the context of the game. We're on an alien planet. Hello, Humans are looking for something. My name is Miller. And I we've got this guy. You are confused, but I assure you that everything is all right. We are in a bit of a hurry. I will explain everything later, but for now, just do as I say, and you might live through this. First, I'm going to release the prods. Okay. Is this early access or beta? This is an early demo early demo um, so it's not final of anything it's not even the it's not even early access or anything let's uh, let's listen to this guy give us the tutorial let's see uh, mm, that should do it oh oops <laughs> um, okay I think I got it slowly now now try to move forward okay we have our creature now Adjusting the volume for his voice is going to be tricky. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. Is this pre-alpha? I would say it's alpha or pre-alpha, right? Gonna guide you through the cave. Okay. It looks like these roots are blocking our way. Modu, I need you to try and grow a mouth from one of your body tiles. Okay, so we got to do the mouth. So it's basically what we did just now. We got to grow. Uh, and we have to put a mouth and then we can eat our way through right so early on when we were looking when i was looking at this game uh last year basically the game was looking a little rough you know it was last year and this is already like an alpha or pre-alpha sort of early demo thing um but actually so far things are looking okay things are playing okay it's got this sort of impossible creatures vibe thing but it's more alieny you know so it, it's got some pathfinding issues but it figures it out eventually you know uh maybe not <laughs> let's let's eat these plants there we go uh so it's honestly a vibe that i've been getting from a lot of demos i've been playing this year in 2020 a lot of demos for games coming out later this year or in 2021 it's better than expected. It's actually better than expected. Excellent work, Modu. Okay, let's continue. It basically sent us through the tunnels. All right, we have to find a way out of this ca I think we've got company. Grow more mouths to protect yourself. Modu, you have to find a way out before you are overwhelmed by the enemy. Okay. Let's kill some fish. So, if you position the mouths correctly, you can double your attacks like that. <laughs> I don't know if there's a, a rotate command. It says currently not active all these commands on this side, so I think we don't have controls. Is this the way out? Maybe this is the way out. Because there's a lot of them. What's that? Is that something? What is that? Healing, maybe? Okay. So it's it's something interesting. It's something interesting, you know? Wilkinson says, Spore meets AoE. Spore meets Age of Empires. Yeah, that's kind of... Right? It's it's different. It's something new. And that's cool. That was close. Damn, Camaras. Okay. We got away from those things. Camaras, they're being called? Voice acting is not bad. I was... Yeah. 
These mechanical doors are stuck. I need you to focus and detach a part of your body, then send it through to the next room. I bet there's a way to open these doors. Okay, so this is this part, which I think is really cool, right? You just send the piece through. We can still grow another mouth, by the way. Let's grow a mouth there. That opens a door. So I, I don't know exactly how the economy works right now. But I like how the 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 units and stuff move. Now let's send these mouths off. We gotta stand on these buttons to open this door, right? Look, this there's like puzzle mechanics. Oh, there's a, one of those things. Okay, let's reattach ourselves. I can imagine some complicated puzzles being set up depending on the abilities we've got. Because there's like mortars and shooting things and all of that. That could be quite a bit. Okay, and I think this is the end of the tutorial for this mission anyway. Finally, I get to see you in the flesh. Nicely done, Modu. Just as I suspected, you'll be a great asset to us. Now follow me and let's get out of this place. I hope you're ready to see your new home. Kano! <laughs> Wilkinson. And, uh, uh, oh, the, the dev actually said, hold your mouse and drag. Okay. Hold your mouse and drag rotates the thing. Uh, yeah, that needs to be in the tutorial, but okay, we can do that. That's that's very important. Ah, oh, live action, live action acting. That that was unexpected. Live action acting. Um, and you know, with Command and Conquer remasters, I think there might be a little bit of uptick on live action acting in RTSs, right? It's a. I wouldn't. I wouldn't complain. I wouldn't complain. But. Uh, if you if you go live action acting and it ends up a bit cheesy, you gotta go cheesy. You gotta go Gorgonzola, Mozzarella, and Brie. Like, you see how Red Alert does it? It's just cheese on cheese. It it's a margarita pizza, you know. <laughs> it's just cheese on cheese. Like you have to go all out. Uh, that's a lot of food reference. But anyway, let's go to level. IX? Level 9? From level... Level X? Okay. Let's... I've, I've never clicked this button, so let's find out. Okay, here we are. Finally, we're here. Intel shows that these waters are infested with hostiles. And we believe that there are two to three Chimera bases at the edge of this canyon. Let's go. Modu. Stay safe. Stay safe, okay. Um, how's the graphics looking? Not bad, pretty good. I, I like the color scheme. Okay, we've got two units here. Uh, like, I'm struggling to know what's what. These are tentacles shooting things. Let's, let's attach up and just be one for now. Uh, let's let's find our way through all of this. It looks like they've given us the map, but oh, oh, you can't fit. Oh, there's fitting problems, right? Of course, yeah. Let's like what we gotta split up, right? Or at least can you guys fit? What's going on over there? Oh, that's one of ours. Okay, there are things. So, can two by twos, uh, uh, two tile guys fit? Can slightly curved guys fit? Uh, can, no? Okay, it's fine. Let's just split up. Okay, reattach yourselves. Here we go. Okay, you uh, attach yourself there. Okay, and you just, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Okay. Oh, these are the shooting ones. Okay, okay, we can kite. Oh, they're faster than before. This isn't as tutorial as the last one. It's okay. 
We move okay. We move okay. I think we're a little faster than them. Okay. So we get to see the different pieces working a little bit better now. Okay. It is getting a very, you know... What are those? Like those animal survival games where like, oh, you play this fox and you're trying to survive or you play this bear sort of thing. And it's like, you're trying to survive in the wild. It's sort of giving that vibe. Come on. What? No. <laughs> what is that thing? What? Oh, that's... That's not friendly. That's... Jeez, come on. What is the range on that thing? This doesn't seem fair. <laughs> I think we might have glitched its range. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's, look, it's an early demo, right? But th these are minor things, so we're not gonna judge it too much. Can I bust through this? What is this stuff? It's like black sea foam. Do hotkeys work? Hotkeys do work. Can I kill this thing? Can you? Oh right, rotate. Okay, it's not that tough. Ah, there we go, that's the rotate. Click and hold, you get to rotate. I see. This, this is a RTS control I am not used to, but... Like, where is the... Where is considered the front? How, how does it determine what the front is? So... I guess it's just relative, right? This will rotate it like 45 degrees. Yeah. Right, this... Okay. I guess we're supposed to go here. Are we supposed to kill that thing? Can we kill this thing? We can shoot it. The front part is the part facing forward. <laughs> the pointy end. Uh, I, I think it's relative. I think it's just relative, right? This just turns. I, I, it feels like something you would get used to after a while. Now, is this thing hostile? Oh, it's, it's a thing. We can build more stuff. Should I scout? Should I, what's, what's the strat? We can build another piece. Let's add a brain on, I guess. Let's get some tech going. Oh, no, turn around, turn around, turn around. No, no, this way, no. Okay, I feel like we should Take these guys. No, not you. So the mouths should definitely be on. Hold on. Like, what's. If I put the mouth here, I put the mouth here, and then our structure is bigger now, so we got more to defend. We defend the brain like that, and then we attach like that. That's kind of okay. We have more stuff now, so we can put a tile, and then, okay, generates acid that upgrades adjacent organs. Damage. Cast damage when explode. Can use any nutrient, iron or acid, to heal creatures. Press F to activate. Reveals a large area, adds range to connected weapons. Oh, range is really good. Adds range to connected weapons. So if I grow that, if I put an eye here, and then I connect my guns to the eye and then I have mouths on the far side and then I just attach this onto no no not like that how do I can I it's a little hard to get it just right can I maybe do it yeah like that hold on hold on I want to make this good Okay, and this is going to attach to here, and then this can attach, 
No, not like that. No. No. Okay, hold on, hold on. If I get this... I can't get it in that gap. Got it. And then you just go onto there. So now we have an eye with adjacent ranged weapons. And then I could possibly get that healing thing, which was the... Can use any nutrient. So I can get the liver. Oh, we're moving slower. We're moving slower. Oh, look at the range of the shooting things. That's much better. But the bigger we get... No, no. I want to rotate like that. I don't know if this does anything. Okay. Okay, so we've got... Was it press F to heal? Oh, it just... It's a toggle. Okay, so we're healing now. Alright, we'll keep our brain sizzling a little bit. We're not fast enough to dodge the attacks now. But we're tanky enough to survive it. Okay, strategies, tactics. Uh, are we supposed to kill these things? What are, what are these? Oh, these are, these are nutrients. Are we... It's this purple stuff. Oh, we eat this purple stuff. I see. Um, so I can... No. Um, send a mouth off to eat? Does this work? Can we use mouths as harvesters? Selected creature details. Okay, yeah, it is it is working, I think. Main creature nutrients. Yeah, it's going up, it's going up. Okay, reattach. Small, fast, size, speed. Size, speed is connected. Small, fast, size, speed, large, slow. Right, yeah. So size is connected. Okay. So selected creature details... Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's so strange. I'm like worried about growing my monster more. So it's cost one. So this says 29. If I grow... If I throw down... Yeah. So we do slowly go up. So if I add some more platforms here... I can throw down... Some long range. Oh, that costs a lot. And if that's going to be a mortar, I kind of want that attached to the eye as well. No. Get in there. Got it. So this is a mortar. Which I'm going to have to do a little fiddling here. Perfect. And now that's... no. The mortar is now attached to the eye. The eye is affecting all of this. The mortar should have higher range. Oh, we're so slow now! Would it make sense to... ...split... ...the guns? We move faster if it's split up, right, of course. Right. Are we supposed to be here? Oh, the objective is to build five turrets. So we're just supposed to go around... Five turrets? Oh. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at the objectives. Oh, we can't grow... ...on that, of course, right. Let's, let's grow a turret. And then we can attach this to our eye as well. A little trickily. Build five acid glands. Okay, so... Do we leave mouths eating? Like, I'm not entirely sure what the... Oh no, we're under attack. No, 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 no! My brain! There's a... 
Okay. Okay. So I think I... No, not... I want just the mouth to come off. Okay. So we reconnect this. That's our brain. Okay. And then we need acid glands. Is it just this? Generates acid that upgrades adjacent organs damage. Oh. We're doing that. Uh, if we're doing that. So we kind of want... Acid glands attached to our thing, right? So we need... Four more. And then we just need so much. These cost 14 each. These cost 14 each. Okay. This has suddenly become very... Complicated. Um... Eats plants, bites enemies. Perhaps I should get some more mouths. They cost six. Range one. Four with acid. Oh, if you give the mouth acid, it becomes a ranged weapon. Oh. Okay. Mouth. Okay, you? No. Can go eat the plant. You? Then go eat the plant. Reconnect. I assume this is giving us resources. I assume so. Harvester units don't seem to return resources automatically. Um, I'm not sure if it's just giving us resources. Because, like, if I bring this back, that's been eating there for a while. Does it... Oh, we do have to bring it back. I see. So once we do this, the main creature nutrients. Right. So if that's the case. Okay. So this really is more a portable setup thing, which makes sense. Are these all of our plants? Okay. So we can do that. And we're building acid glands, right? I have only one tile? Yeah, so we're gonna need four more. Okay, let's bring this guy over. So this is the selected creature details here, right? You can put your heart near the flowers and connect all the mouths to your heart as a giant thing. Right. So if I if I set this up here and then I just and then have this and that eat like that. So that's just constantly feeding. And then perhaps if I try and angle these. Are those just both now constantly eating? It's a little bit fiddly, but I think it's working. And then we're supposed to get these acid glands. Uh, okay. And let's bring these guys back. So if I connect this guy to here, there are now three mouths just eating. Okay. Okay. I see. Zorli Band is in chat right now, who is a developer of the game. It looks like only one's eating. I can't tell. I can't tell. There's only one animation there, but... Oh, we're getting a green nutrient now. Oh, because of the acid generation. Oh, we're actually generating acid. I see. I see. These... Produce another resource. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm unsure of the the visual of eating things. But we've got we've got the things. Should we be eating a bit more? This is a bit messy. If I set you to go eat there, what happens? Uh no.
Oh, I see. If they're connected, then it's... Oh. That becomes the selected creature which can hold 12. So what you kind of want to do is separate these guys, bring them together, and then it'll just stockpile. Uh, selected creature is 8. If I add empty tiles onto it, 16. Okay, I understand. I understand. You don't want a lot of mouths. You want to set up various mouths like this and give them storage space. Like this, so that they can hold more with each trip. I pull off these two. Attach it to here, ask you to eat that, and now this can hold 12. This can hold 12, yeah. This is full, so let's just bring this back. Also, if it's attached to an... If it has acid, it becomes range. I don't know if it has to be attached to an acid gland. Alright, so now we can bring this back and it'll just give us 11. Oh, it seems like the mouse do just... grow when you attach it. There we go. Now we have lots of resources. Too big to move. <laughs> there is a size limit. Okay. Um, how do I do this? I guess we have... something like that. Break through the barrier with acid. Okay. Oh, so I've attached an acid gland here. So now we do acid damage that deals with these things. Okay. Uh, but now also to test. I see. Okay. Um, I kind of want to get a turret onto this. And a mortar onto this. Just so we have a few more ranged things on our main creature. Seems like building things on it doesn't affect the speed. It's just how many tiles total. Okay, so we can now bust all this. Can this thing... Okay. This is... <laughs> Got too chunk to move, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is actually becoming a lot more interesting than I thought. Okay, bust through all this. Get through. Okay, we're weird shapes. Oh, the mouths now spray. I see. Alright, we're losing some stuff. That's a lot more dangerous than I thought. Okay, reattach, reattach. F for heals. We can't move, it's okay. We're gonna be smaller soon. <laughs> Turret. Uh, turret. We're out of resources. <laughs> okay. We can move. This, this is like the maximum size we can be. Anchor, thank you so much for the sub. Um, oh, we get slowed if we're, we've engaged an enemy. I see. Let's build another turret. Okay, well, that makes us easier to move. Attach. Heal up. Slowly make our way through. Okay. Can we stop that? What is that? Okay. Okay, they're sending some skirmishes. It's fine. Let's, let's keep going. Okay. The design of the mortar is insane. Come on, get a bit closer. Kill the mortar. Yes, okay. Heal. Do I have any more space? I think I got one. No. I don't know if you can build on these adjacent tiles. Okay. Uh, we did some stuff. Should I be killing the seafoam? 
They're out of gold sending trash units. Okay, okay. I'm scared about splitting up. Does this stuff heal me? I think it does, right? It looks like a heal. Okay. Are these things we can eat? We don't have... No, we do have a mouth. Yeah. Alright, let's kill these guys. Okay. We're supposed to head this way. Are these edible things? Yes, they are. Let's let's eat a little bit. Okay. Let's just gather up some resources. Let's replenish our acid. Is there a reason to bring your heart into battle? I suppose it's sort of like proxy barracksing, right? <laughs> it's it's sort of like a proxy barracks, right? You kind of want to. Like, you, you need the acid stuff attached, please. There we go. So then we can... Look, my micro's just not as good, but there we go. So this is one. Okay, control groups aren't working right now. <laughs> but we have to defeat the enemy heart. Okay. Uh, I haven't... I have this mouth here. I think we need to gather up resources. And it seems like the mouth auto harvests. So if I grab you and just attach you here, no, attach you here. Is that both eating? Yes, good. Let's build an army. Okay, let's do that. Um, we probably do need, let's get an eye. Then we'll want Oh, adds Neural Surge if hurt, that adds a speed bonus. The brain has tactical abilities, apparently. <laughs> Control groups are working up until you split a group, then it might go wrong. All oh, right, it, it's an early demo. That's not what we're really focused on. Okay, so mortars, long range bomb launchers. I think I kind of just like lots of turrets, right? Uh, we probably do need another gland. Let's take that. If we split it now, what happens? Does it break? Does it stop the construction? No, it doesn't. Oh, we're under attack. Let's go deal with that. Okay. So it might actually be beneficial to have a brain on this If I split the brain off onto this, can I still build things? I can. Uh, I probably just want lots of turrets. And then these are not connected to an eye, but it should work out fine. So with this, we can head out and try kill some stuff. Oh, they got some stuff stuck there. We can go kill that. Okay, this should be a pretty formidable thing. We've got a brain. We've got some... We've got an eye. Look at that speed boost. Oh no, is he coming straight for us? Uh, do we have home defenses? A little bit. to the mouth. Okay. I feel like we need a little bit of defenses here. Uh, just put down two more turrets and we have an acid gland so it should be fine. Okay. I feel like we can just sit there and eat and then this guy can go out and kill stuff. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm starting to get this game. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. That's four mortars. I'm supposed to kill... Can we intercept this mouth? Die. 
I think they're going out to harvest resources. If I destroy this foam, is there a health pickup in there? Because that could allow us to... There is? Oh, it's so... They have so much stuff. Can we get through this? Where is their... Is that their brain? They have so many mouths. <laughs> I feel a little outmatched. That's a lot of stuff! They have so much stuff! They have so much stuff, wow. Okay, we need multiple units for sure. Um, okay, let's get a construction platform built out this way. Then we can set up various things. Uh, we don't have a brain anymore. Brain. Uh, turret, tile, tile, turret. Guys, this game is hard. <laughs> this game is hard. <laughs> no, they attacked. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. I, I aggroed, I aggroed the enemy. Okay, but I understand the game now. I understand the game. Okay, how? Uh, let's, let's give it another try. Like, I kind of, I kind of understand. Uh, Finally, yes, yes. We're here. Intel shows that these waters are infested with hostiles. Okay, okay. We believe that there are two to three Chimera bases at the edge of this camp. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. If I no, I'm that there's a big fish thing that eats that. Let's just run. Okay. Should have multiplied like an amoeba. Yeah, that's I think that's what you're supposed to do. You're just supposed to go crazy. Like just expand, expand, expand. Because your units are your base. So the bigger your base, the bigger your units, right? Like that's just that's kind of what it is. Can we kill this thing? Yeah, come on. Is that? What's that? that these things are flying through the rocks. <laughs> That's not solid for them. Okay. Oh, they're chasing us all the way. Okay. We gotta go. We gotta harvest things. Is there a way around this way? No, this is a dead end, right? Yeah. Okay, let's deal with these things first. Right, enemies do latch on and slow you down. Oh, they're so short range. Without the eye. Was that giant fish supposed to be there? Could we just have lost right there? Okay, uh, let's, let's set up, let's set up, let's zoom in. Okay, we are here. Uh, I think what might be handy is if you just position your base and then have like tiles up to the resources and then you just go mouth, mouth, mouth. Right? And then we should have three mouths that are just feeding. And then we can build out a construction platform to produce units. Right? So first thing, we need a brain that costs 18. But I can prep that. Okay, so we're just gonna have these um, hexagons. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have hexagons. Is too big to move. Yep, that's fine. I don't want you moving. So if I have this here, can I then do that? And then do that? And then does he eat? 
I think he is, yes. Okay. So we're now just gonna sit here and eat. And we can have that there. Okay. Have you attached to that. Is that in range? Yes. Okay, we're now eating everything. Let's get a brain stuck back home. And then I'm gonna go turret, 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 turret. Mortar, mortar, I. Oh wait, I need acid. I need acid. I think if I go one wider, I can go... Is there an... Oh. We don't want to go too big. Pull back. I think things are stronger when they're attached to the main structure. Because they get bigger. Okay. So we're supposed to have... I'm gonna put an acid gland. And an eye. And then mortar, mortar. Insufficient funds. Yeah. So let's just... Pull you off. Attach you there. There are going to be some slight defenses in case we do get attacked. Okay. Uh, we're going to need a liver to heal that. Uh, so I got an acid gland, a mortar. I need another mortar. Cost 26. Okay. Okay. So too big to move is what's supposed to happen. We're supposed to set up uh, what's over here? Uh, we're supposed to set up a static base. I understand. Uh, why enemies have the same color as a unit? They are quite similar at this point, but the base color is different. I think they need to change the whole color. Like, we're purple, so we're, we should be very purple like this, so this looks okay. I think they should just be all teal or something. Okay, mortar there. So this is essentially what I want as like one unit, right? We're going to build these tanks. We're going to build these tanks. Uh, they don't have the brain. They're slow moving, but they have some acid, which does build up over time. We've got to be careful. I think each shot takes up an acid point. So we're going to do that again. Like that. And then we go... I. And we go... Acid gland. Then we go... Turret, turret, turret. Turret, turret, turret. Okay, we need more funds. We build a few of these and we should be able to go kill them. But yeah, see they're bigger? They're bigger on the main structure. So the main creature does boost them up. So bringing the main creature with you to attack does have uses. What does the iron brain do? The eye uh, increases range and sight, I think. Yeah, adds range to connected weapons. The brain, uh, it unlocks this extra tech, but if it's attached to something, it gets a neural surge if hurts, which speed bonus. Mr. T, thank you so much. Uh, Mortar. There and... Almost. These these mortars are expensive. 26. We're eating from all of these things. Okay. 25, 26. Uh, mortar there. Okay. We've got two tanks. I think I want three... I think three is a good one to have. Okay. Uh, we should build the acid thing first. Because it takes time to generate all the acid you need. So the acid gland goes down first. When we throw down the eye. Then we need a lot more resources. Turrets cost seven. We need so much resources. These are, these are so... Why no tentacles? Hits and slows enemies, deflects mortar bombs, 
I didn't know they did that. The flex mortar bombs. Can we maybe fit? Can we fit more on this? Like, how would we do it? If I put like one here, one here, tentacle, tentacle, and then... No, no, not that. That's, that's not what I want. Okay. Attach there. It's real slow. Uh, okay, not that slow. Okay, maybe not all of them. We'll, we'll have that guy be the one that charges forward. Right? Maybe replace some of the turrets. Yeah, maybe that's what we should do. It should be like tentacle, tentacle, turret, 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 mortar, mortar. Oh, you know, the tentacle should be away from the eye. So it should be tentacle, tentacle. It should help, right? Tentacle, tentacle, away from the eye because they don't benefit from that. Right? So if we then take these two off, and we take these two off. We can then uh, attach this. No, not you. Okay. I've never played a game like this before, okay? So it's a little weird. <laughs> Come on, get in there. Okay. We do this. That actually works. Um, so we bring this down. We've got these turrets. Not like that. Okay. Okay, and then we can take these, no, that one, these two off. Uh, I just need the mortar on that, and then I can... ...collect these guys. Okay, come on. Break that off. Almost. Okay and do that. And this is what we're doing, right? And then this guy down here is not finished. So it's supposed to be there. And here. Nope. Okay. Temporarily reattach this guy. So we can build tentacle, tentacle. Okay. Okay, we've got three of these tanks. And just in case they rush at us, I'm gonna go turret, turret. Let's give ourselves... We need, like, more acid glands for the objective. So these guys are now ready to go. Okay, we did it. We've got three tanks. You can split faster by dragging them and holding alt. Oh. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> There's all these little things. Is all band? Get those in the tutorial. Uh, liver at home. Um, didn't I get a liver? I did, I did. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to get... We need more acid glands. At home. And in case we get attacked, I want to make sure we are pretty much defended. That should be enough acid glands. Okay, we got these guys. So this should be... Okay. Control group working. We got these tentacles, which I didn't know deflect mortar things. Okay. Let's see how this goes. It feels a lot more proper than last time. Okay. Okay. Turn so the tentacles are at the front. Look at that. Did you see that? Transition to the tentacle at the front. Okay, we took some damage. Can I bust this open? Come on, I need the health inside. 
Okay, thank you. All right, I don't know if I should rush forward. And I don't know what's there. Defeat the enemy heart. Oh, that's a problem. This guy took some hits, so... Okay. Any little bit we take out is gonna be good. Okay. Tentacles to the front. Oh, they send it back home? They, the tentacles toss the Mota back towards the enemy. That's so powerful. That's so powerful. Okay, let's bust this open. Heal that, okay. Okay, let's try to pick off the stragglers. Okay. Okay, I picked up that health right at that point. Get back in range. Okay, they're struggling. They're struggling. Yes. Guys, my my tank idea worked. <laughs> oh, don't get in range of the mouths. Also, if he gets too small, he can start moving again. So let's just target the core. We did it! <laughs> we did it! Yes! I know, they're sending some guys at us, but I think we can kill him in time. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it! They got reinforcements! Kill the thing! Yes! Look! I destroyed the thing, now he's bringing the mouths around. Smart, right? You kill the core, so he can't move. If it was a human player, he would have just split the mouths off. And probably could have defended that. There's actually so much to this game, way more than I thought there would be. Like, honestly speaking, when I first listed the game last year in, in the upcoming strategy games list video, I was like, mm, is this gonna be a little jank? Like, like Impossible Creatures is kind of a jank game, you know? The, and I think Spore, Spore RTS is kind of an interesting way of putting it. But actually, there is, there is so much that you can do because you are... The, the modular unit in an RTS is kind of a thing that people have done for a while. Uh, more recently, Petroglyph did um, that RTS where you could ha you had the modular units. What's it called? I forgot. But uh, before they did the Command and Conquer remasters, <laughs> Petroglyph did that that RTS. And even way back, Metal Fatigue, right? You had these giant mechs. You could change the arms. You could change the torsos. You could change all of that stuff, right? You can change things um, and and have these modular units. It's not a new idea, but a lot of times the implementation of modular units is kind of weird and clunky and here it's still a little clunky but it is an early build but it actually feels like like I created this idea in my head of a tank right and I created this collection in a certain design you know with the eye and the tentacle and then you guys suggested the tentacles on the side away from the eyes because they don't need range you know so we created this tank, which technically had a front, right? The the tentacles go to the front, right? Because they're they're the melee unit, and they can throw the mortars back. You know, but we didn't even use the brains. We didn't have the livers. Like there, there's a lot of ways where you could probably use those. Like if you stack livers, do you just become? Can you do like a stack of livers surrounded by tentacles? But then it's susceptible to mortars. Huh. It, it actually is an implementation of modular units, which is kind of nice. And that is hard to do. Like, if we look at arena mode, 
if we just give it minute 30, right? Th this is this is like a a real test, <laughs> you know? Like is there a max range on how far you can build out or I don't think so. You can just keep going. You can just do something like this. Um, we're gonna need a brain. Probably should have done that earlier. Like you can just... Also, the core dies at the start of this. Okay, then we want... Like, glands for the acid. And then we can get... Mortars. Right? You know? Then... You technically don't have to move on this. The enemy comes to you, so let's connect everything. Give ourselves a brain for no particular reason. Right? Let's throw down some eyes. Oh, did I? Okay, we. Can we move? <laughs> no, we're too big to move. Like, you can just do weird, crazy things. Like, this is not a unit, this is a base, right? And oddly, there's a distinction between a unit and a base. Like, what's even coming at us? Does the enemy use the same number of points as we do? Or they, they cleverly have multiple units? <laughs> I don't I I can't micro, so I built something to my playstyle. Oh, they got tentacles. All my mortars are throwing back at me. <laughs> Will we win this? I think we will. Yeah. I won. I won. <laughs> it's... You know, it's a weird game, but... It, it is just... More interesting and engaging than I thought it would be. Honestly speaking. Like, it's an early demo. You know, we be lenient because it's an early demo, but... Like, all the early demos we've been looking at... Better, better than I thought it would be. Right? Like, you look at the trailer for this thing and it's like, is this really gonna work? Can it work in, like, competitive multiplayer? Actually, yeah, I can see this being a, a multiplayer thing. Like, you need so many hotkeys and controls to be smooth. The pathfinding needs to be immaculate. You know, like, it, the units have to do what you tell them to do. But then you can imagine people with super micro, like, splitting things off, reconnecting them, splitting them off, reconnecting in the midst of battle, like, sending off tentacles just by themselves to grab and slow something down, then you can catch up to it, right? You could split off a single tentacle, so it'll move faster, because it's just one tile, to grab something to slow it down, and then you catch up to it and kill it with the bigger thing, right? There's so many little things you can do, and that's kind of exciting. Thematically, I'm not sure... It's gonna be an eSport, but as an RTS, it is quite solid in the in the early demo stages. So thank you so much uh, to the developers for letting me have an early look at this. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. All right, it's build 0 0.12. Whatever, pre-alpha, alpha, early demo, whatever you want to call it, there's no definitions, but it's it's an early demo. You know, it's not for sale yet. <laughs> Anyway, that is our look at Module War, and I'm I'm actually pretty happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this look at it. Uh, thank you all so much for joining. If you'd like to support the channel, please do subscribe on Twitch, become a YouTube member, or support directly on Patreon, patreon.com slash gamerzack.
Um, do join us on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Gamazak on all of those. You can find a lot of stuff at Gamazak.com uh, and the wonderful Discord community, discord.gg slash Gamazak for the Zachalites, who are many hundreds of them online every day, so come join us. If you're watching on YouTube, click the buttons on the screen right now for more Gamer Encounters. The list videos, which I mentioned multiple times, those are pretty good. And that's going to be all. Thank you all so much for joining. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.